that he could help you and I because the enemy was bringing us death. Somebody said the words of sin is dead, but thank God that he positioned us a king. His name is Jesus because he shall save his people from their sins. And when Jesus, it was all or nothing. such a time like this. And you can never go wrong when you are a blessing to somebody in need. God just won't let it go unnoticed. 
Thank God for the Queen Esther's in our lives. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all could have done better than that. Amen. Right? Amen. Thank God for the Queen Esther's. In our lives, for the Queen yeah. Esther that's in our lives, because <laughs> they they they've been a blessing to us. Right, right. Yeah, amen. 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 They, they've been a real blessing amen. to us. Amen. That God positioned them so that they could be a blessing to us. anybody here. Anybody in here know somebody's parent that what didn't feel about their children like you did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I knew some parents. That they didn't care about their children dressing because they were too busy dressing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because right. yeah. right. their children had to defend for themselves. They didn't. Hello. But your mama made sure you had a good meal every day. Right. Right. God positioned her so that she could bless you. Amen. He positioned her. So that when you got in trouble, yeah. she could come to your rescue. Yeah. He positioned her because sometimes for her it was all or nothing. Yeah. Her sacrifices, she gave up yeah. so that you could have. Right. And God is saying to you, he wants to be just like that in your life. Right. Right. God wants to position himself in your life. Yeah. So that when you get in trouble, mm -hmm. I wish I. Yeah. I, I should have got a co-sign. Yeah. He wants to position you like that so that when when you get in trouble, yeah. he can come. Now he, yeah. he can't come to your rescue if you haven't positioned him. Right. Right. In your life. Right. Hey, amen. Right. Hey, if you haven't positioned him in your life, he can't come to your rescue. He, you got to you got to position him in your life. Then with him, if you position him, he's still saying it's all or nothing. Right. If he's for you, he's more than the world against you. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. If God be for you, who can be against you? And so if you hear today, if you hear today, if you hear today, um, if you if you're here today, we want to afford you an opportunity to be chosen by God. You can come by ladder, you can come by Christian experience, you can come as a candidate for baptism. But if you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sins, you need rest. And God can rescue you right where you are. Now listen, somebody might be sitting up in here saying, I hear you, Rev, but I need to get my life straight. And I'm, Rev, I'm, as soon as I get my life straight, I'm going to come. Listen, you cannot get your life straight outside of Christ. Right. That's why he sent us Jesus. That's why he sent us Jesus, Paul said, the good that I would do, that I do not, that, that I know that I should do, that, that, that I find myself doing. Who's going to deliver me from this body of death? Amen. And he, he came to realize that he couldn't do it. And he said, I thank God. Who gives me the victory over this matter. And God, God wants to give you victory over your life. And we all got a hammer in our life. We all got a hammer. Satan is after us. He wants to destroy us. He wants to separate us from God. You cannot let Satan do that to you because God loves you. He loves you so much that he died for you. He loved you so much that he gave us his very best, his only begotten son. And all you have to do is just surrender to God. And if you're here today and you don't have a church home, listen, listen, listen. Today is all you got. Today is all you got. Next Sunday is not promised. Right. All you got is today. Today you need to get it right with God. And God, God wants to love on you. And I wish I knew somebody that would tell you, 
uh, child, he knows how to love on the unlovable. Yes, he does. Because he's been loving on me for a minute. And I mean to tell you, I mean to tell you, um, to love on me, take something. Yeah. And so if you here today and you don't have a church, I'm talking to you, I'm talking right. to you, I'm talking to you. Will y'all help me talk to whoever that is? If they sit next to you and you know they ain't got no church on, tell them, well, I'm talking to you. And he chose me to sit next to you. Right. So I can help Ray up tell you to go. Amen. Amen. You just need to come. You just need to come. Come. I know you might be saying, well, Ray, if I come, what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? It's not about what you're supposed to say. Just come. All right. And sometimes your walk becomes your talk. Just come. Just come. Amen. Give your life over to God. And give it over to God. I mean, you got to. Give your life over to God. Uh, somebody else sitting up in here, you need to give your life over to God. Somebody else sitting up in here, you need to give your life over to God. You've been trying to manage your life, but you know, if, if the truth be told, you're not a good manager. Amen. Amen. The truth be told, you're not a good, you're not a good, you're not a good manager. You have been doing good. And God, He died, God, He he died so that you can have a right to the tree of life. God died so that you can have a right to the tree of life. So why don't you just come? come. Don't be scared. Don't be look, look, look. Don't be scared. Don't don't be scared. God died so that you can have a right to the tree of life. He he died for you, and he makes the difference in all of our lives. And anybody in here besides me glad that God loves you? Amen. Not because you're so saved and right. sanctified. Right. But because you admit that you're a sinner. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he loves yeah. you. Thank you. Some of us done done something since last Sunday. Right. Amen. 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 I'm looking at some of y'all right now. I ain't going to point you out, but uh, y'all wasn't at the house, man. Wow. Uh-oh. Some of that was that was in that cup. It wasn't Kool-Aid. Uh -oh. <laughs> Help me somebody. Help, help me somebody. It was rolled up like a cigarette, but it didn't smell like it. Y'all thought I ain't know nothing about no reefer, did y'all? I ain't never, I ain't never smoked one. I ain't never smoked one, but I think I've had a contact. Because oh. <laughs> I was with some homies. I didn't see no green elephant, but I felt some kind of way. I felt. Oh, okay, okay. See, see. Thank you for testifying. Thank you for. Amen. 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 I know. I know some of y'all that y'all done had a little something, something like that, and y'all felt like I believe I can fly. Yeah, I believe. I believe I can touch. See me running through that open door. I believe I can. Amen. Y'all, y'all trying to act like y'all ain't flown before. Some of y'all got off the ground too. <laughs> ah. Somebody else needs to come. We, I know, I know, I know. We need to. We, I, I know we need to. I know we need to cut it off. But, but somebody's soul is at stake. Right. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's soul is at stake, and and you need to give your life over to God. The Spirit been talking to you. The Spirit been tugging at your heart. Spirit been telling you, get up, get up, go on, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm trying to 
Okay, I'm so bad. Okay. Oh God, he's so bad. Oh God, he's so bad. Amen, amen. You still have time to come. You still have time to come. You still have um, time um, to come. And the good news is, the good news is, the baptismal pool is just about ready. Amen. Um, he was here last night when I was here and uh, accomplished a whole lot. And it's just about, we're going to be ready by first Sunday. Amen. 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 And we're going we to, we're going to, uh, now I said we're gonna be ready first Sunday. That's first Sunday in September. That's Labor Day weekend. Amen. Amen. But we're gonna baptize at six. Amen. So that Amen. we can dedicate the new pool. Amen. And then baptize the new convert. Amen. 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 We're gonna do it at what time? Six. Amen. The devil is alive. <laughs> we're gonna do it at six. We're going to thank God for blessing us with the new pool. Amen. And, uh, and then thank God for blessing us with the new converts. Amen. Amen. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And uh, y'all still going to have time to barbecue on Monday. Y'all going to have plenty of time to ice down the spirits. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on, get a lot of hands out of the break. <laughs>